Hello everyone, it's Muhammad again and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will be talking about what is the improvements in 2D tools. So when I made that braid tutorial series and uh, the 2D tutorial series, it was all done using Unreal 4.0. But now there is Unreal 4.4. Which means there is a huge gap between these two versions. Plus, when I made these tutorials previously, I used Paper 2D as an experimental tool, so it was not exposed in the engine or it was not recommended to be used. But now it comes by default with any blank project. So let's make a project called Updates or whatever. And let's make a new project here. And no content material. So let's go to an empty scene here. So first, first thing when you check here, you'll find the animations with a, sp a sprite flipbook, and when you come to miscellaneous, there is a sprite here. So it means it's by default you have the paper to the the paper to the running. If you come here to the plugins, you'll find paper to the is enabled by default. So what improvements or what changes have been made to the engine? So let's come here to my desktop and let's drag this sprite here and let's drag oh, take some time okay so and let's make a folder here called frames to import something else and let's import all of this yes okay so let's start with this uh, sprite animation first so if we select everything you can now click configure for sprite change every all of them at once and right click again and create sprites from all of them at once check how quickly it is now you can make an animation quickly sprite flipbook and let's say uh, running can open here you can select okay let's uh, filter to the sprites only miscellaneous and sprites so you can select all of them drag and drop here in the in, in this middle dark gray area not this area in this area and now you have your animation 15 i think it was uh, maybe 20 or something so y you have all the animation set up correctly and running it's too quickly yeah okay you can stop there is some 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 nice tools here you can see a good timeline everything is fine here this is for an animation for a normal sprite let's come here let's uh, close this so you can also configure for sprite and you can open this so okay let's make sprite from this and let's call this uh, castle now let's say this sprite should have have or should contain this part only and if you can remember in the old tutorials we cannot visualize this thing here so I was working paste on this image so I was looking all the time in the image here the small image not this one but look at the thing here we can start using the same approach which means we control from this value here to trim or cut the sprite and look here in this big one but the good thing here we can press this, this design button or regime button and we have all these points which we can select and move so very quickly we can select and move and now we have a different sprite as you can see this is a sprite here you can save and this is a sprite here yeah, that's not everything. We can also have colliders or have collisions here. But for collisions or, or for this editor itself, there is one thing I want to mention for you. I don't know if it's running the same on Windows or it's my my issue because I'm running on Mac because there is some weird stuff with the engine on Mac. But you need to click first and then move. 
So that's how it works here. I, I was trying to, to click and move at the same time, like any other 3D application or any other engine. Click and move, but it's not working with me. So you have to click first, mark the point, and then you can move. So yeah, it's the same thing. You can add a collision here for the object. So you can here click and move. You can click and move. Also you can add some extra faces, some extra polygons from here, so you can click and move and select those stuff. So you can draw a mesh collider here. For me I never like to use mesh colliders, I like to use cubes, static objects, but yes, yeah, sometimes you need to use a mesh collider. So yeah, this is mostly pretty much everything. It, if, if you try to check the old tutorials, you'll find it takes so long to build an animation or to build something. Uh, the drag and drop was not that e efficient. Or, yeah, it's too much changes. I hope you understand this. I hope it makes difference for you. I hope it helps you. And looking forward for you in another tutorial. See you. Bye.